Day 82, 10.29 a.m. All of the housemates are in the bedroom. For this week's shop and task, housemates must attend the Big Brother Finishing Academy. In order to win a luxury shop and budget, the housemates must pass a series of challenges intended to improve one's etiquette, table manners, deportment and elocution. This is fucking pucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, this is like someone's posh ass or something. Got a dining table and everything. <laughs> that was funny. That's it, Sammy. <laughs> Do you like it, Carol? Fantastic. Yeah. No, don't don't start jumping on the furniture. Me! <laughs> wow. Ten fifty-four a.m. Carol, Ziggy, and Liam are in the living area. Some of the housemates are in the bathroom. <laughs> Tracy and Brian are at the smoking area. You and Jay had a funny relationship, didn't you? Not funny, ha ha. No, but that, it was up and down, wasn't it? No, I, I think Jay probably. Um, it's something to do with age as well. I think he misunderstood you. Yeah. I think he probably misunderstood you. Yeah, I'm definitely. <sighs> Why is it raining? Did you not? I don't know. Oh, gosh, we should have told you sooner, really. Don't say anything. But before, when he was leaving, I think it was more the fact that he was leaving. You know the whole thing, you wanted to give the money to Carol and stuff. Yeah. And when you, you, you went to the toilet, didn't you? Probably. When? When we were sitting on the couch? No, after we got told he was. Oh, I went for a piss, yeah. Yeah, and he said to the rest of the group, don't trust you. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was like, well, what's she going to do? She's going to kill me in my sleep or something. What the fuck's she on about? I think he's just wrapped up in the moment. But I think I still think I thought to myself, oh, bit, bit. I think you have everyone to like, hear it and not tell you. I think you should... That's sketchy. Whatever. Ugh, move on. <laughs> 11.37 a.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates on the sofas. They've been provided with appropriate attire to wear for the duration of the task. Wow, you look dead funny. It's going to be a proper funny task, do not it? Actually, do you just look like old people? Old people? Old people. Like old-fashioned people. <laughs> what time was this out? <laughs> the 18th? No, 50s probably, but they would wear them now. You go down to Stone Square even now and you have twin set and pearls and... Really? Slowly, and slowly, 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 slowly. <laughs> Big Brother Finishing Academy. My name's Liz Brewer. I'm here to teach you the art of etiquette and everyday manners in the Big Brother Finishing Academy. She talks like the Queen. Over the next few days, your task is going to be to learn and put into practice etiquette and how to behave, how to conduct yourself at a social occasion, how to make the best of yourself, and how to bring out the best in your fellow <laughs> And the finale of this will be 
putting into practice all that you've learned at the Big Brown Ball. It's come to my notice that not only in everyday life, but particularly in the house, that everyday manners have really gone missing. Oh, man! <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> this behaviour is unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Unfortunately, the language and the speech in the house has deteriorated to go. such an extent that it's time we address this. So from now on, I want all swearing words to be replaced with the following. Housemates, mm -hmm. repeat after me. What's the daisy? What's the daisy? Crikey! Crikey! Golly gosh! Golly gosh! Whoops! Whoops! Balderdash! Balderdash! Housemates have got into the habit of shortening their words. From now on, this will not be allowed. All words must be said in their entirety. For example, defo must now become definitely. <laughs> Al it is have, have it. it. In it is isn't it. So housemates must think about their pronunciation, speak slowly, and think about what they're saying at all times. Twelve thirty two PM Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Big Brother has provided housemates with a guide to social etiquette. Right. Social events, what to that make up Wimbledon International Polo, Cowers Week, Royal Escort Up Lynn. Oh, Tracy, fuck off. <laughs> I mean, Ooh. pardon me. <laughs> One needs a lavatory. <laughs> One bloody <laughs> Don't bloody swear. <laughs> Carl Louise, Amanda and Sam are on the sofas. Tell me about your school at Salisbury. You had to have, you had to wear brown or green hairbands. Um, no way, you got told what hairband you had to wear. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No jewellery, no makeup, obviously. No jewellery? No. No makeup? Even foundation? You want no makeup. No mascara? No, no, no oh. makeup. Did you no. have a foundation at school? No, not allowed. Are you not lying? No, I'm not lying, not allowed. Um, you had to go to chapel every morning. So you'd walk down the corridor, and then all the prefects here in the sixth one would be standing along the corridor, like inspecting you. And really? they'd always be like, tights, hairband, makeup, shouting all these things if they thought that they saw you with it. God, I can't believe it. I can't believe you were not allowed to wear foundation. No. I don't understand that. Would they have known if you had it on there? We thought we were really naughty wearing like clear nail polish. Like, you would be hoping that you didn't get caught. <laughs> One forty-five pm Carol has just returned from the diary room with a laminate to read out to the group. Housemates, Big Brother would like to announce that the cooking and cleaning punishment housemates received for breaking the rule regarding the use of writing materials is now over. Yeah! Yes, so All the housemates pretty. are allowed to cook and clean from now on. Get in. It is no longer the sole responsibility of Amanda, Miss Amanda, Miss Sam, Mr. John T, and Miss Cara Louise. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it might be worse. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, it might be worse us looking at what the jobs are and relocating. Washing up. Rethinking. Washing up. Now, then. Re washing up. Washing up. Right. Why so Miss Tracy will do washing up. Okay. Um, Mr. Liam will do the windows. Probably snot detector. A what detector? It's not when people have got bogies up the nose, I'll just tell them. Oh. <laughs> Mr. The Ziggy will do laying the table and wiping the table after. There's only Dinner. hoovering and mopping left, I think. Yes, so there's there's one hoovering. hoovering. You want to do hoovering. Could you do the floor, washing yeah. the floor? Is that right? Right, you got the bins? <laughs> Tying up. Bins, Would you yeah. like to do putting away as well as your bins? Is your that bins right? With Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Hi. Hi. Apologies to <laughs> one and all. 
Carol's back on cooking. Get it done. Do it done. <laughs> no, I'm not. Like... <laughs> no, I'm back on wiping it. Quickly. You don't have to be a slave no more. Woo! Right, just do this. Oh, is John T. gone to abandon the lunch? Cause... I'll take her lunch. I'll do it. Well, what's going on there? Carol, is this towel just going to come out? What do you want it for? Oh, so I can just put it by the sink. Yeah, can you see what's happened, though? Because you left it on the table. Put a stain on the table. There's we... tea stain all over the tablecloth. So it might be... I don't know Boulder dash. Worse. Do you reckon we should count for two days' food or three? That would be done to death, the pasta. I'm, I'm checking it. No, I'm just saying, because it was on for five minutes. Yeah, it's not. It just checked over. it. Just checked it. It's, it's still hard. Two forty-three p.m. Some of the housemates are in the living area. If a lady was to enter the swimming pool while you're swimming, do you think the gentleman should stand up? Or I think, think that you should swim backwards. Yes. <laughs> Swing it round the circle quickly. Oh my god. It doesn't work, it makes you clap. It doesn't even clap on properly. Uh oh. Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Please take us still here in the camera, people. Carol, Tracy and Ziggy are in the bedroom. This is Big Brother. Shoes. Would Amanda come to the diary room? What's the matter, Trace? Don't worry about it. You always say I'll never do... I won't be able to do that, and you will. No, this is completely opposite to what I am, isn't it? Well, same here, but... Yeah, exactly. And it's just more difficult. <sighs> Miss Amanda, could you answer a question for Big Brother? Yeah. When you wake up in the morning in the Big Brother house, do you plan inventive ways to damage your microphone, or do you just make them up as you go along? Big Brother! That's so mean! They just don't like me. Look, it's really evil. It's black. If it was pink, this would never happen. Miss Amanda, do you know how many microphones of yours Big Brother has had to replace? Would you like to guess? Twelve. Well done. I'm very, 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 very sorry. You don't look very sorry. I'm dead sorry, Luke. <laughs> Amanda, Big Brother would suggest that perhaps you took some time to think about what your punishment should be and then return to the diary room to discuss this with Big Brother. OK, then. I've had a thought, but I can't believe I'd even do that to myself, so maybe I'll scratch that thought. I'll go speak to my fellow housemates. What was that thought, Miss Amanda? To not wear pink for a few days. No pink at all. No makeup pink. No pink. That is a dead bad punishment, but I feel that bad. 3.29 p.m. Ah, uh, yes. Big Brother has gathered the housemates for the first finishing academy challenge. Woo! Elocution. Speech. Housemates, the secret to correct pronunciation is to speak clearly, slowly, and enunciate each word and try and give it the correct pronunciation. How, now, brown, cow. How, how, how we are in Spain stays, stays mainly on the plane. plane. How do you know that? In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. What? How do you know what so you're saying? To each sentence We've done it all before. Now. slowly. Oh, 
the hatchet hatchet and hatchet hurricanes hardly happen hurricanes hardly happen housemates you must now go away and practice your sentences pronunciation is a key ingredient to the big brother finishing academy The rain and spin lies mainly over no, the plane. The rain and spin stays mainly over the plane. The rain and spin stays mainly in the plane. And also, the rain and spin falls mainly on the plane. Falls. How now, Ronnie Kerr? In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. The what? Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. What's that? H1. Hartford, Herefordshire, and Hartford. In Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. How now, brown cow? Hereford, Three fifty one PM. Some of the housemates are in the living area. They've been practicing their pronunciation and elocution for eight minutes. Oh, give me a bit of time to think. Um, tsunami, Sinjin, Canapes, 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 Bisty, Lasty, Tender Hooks, Be Beaver, Fennec, Charmanly, Chumley. Ch Chumley. Chumley. Mm -hmm. Chabli. Chabli. Dauphinois. Dauphinois. Croquet. 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 Brian and Johnny are in the garden. Oh, this is hard. No, you'll be absolutely fine. Shall we make a start while we're waiting for Mr Ziggy to join us? Yep, let's fire away. How now, brown cow? Mr. Brown. Oh, no, brown cow. The first thing to remember with that one is that there's a sound at the beginning of it, so it's how. Right. With that ow sound, it's two sounds. It's ah and oo put together. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow, that's it. Ow. So, how. Oh. The nice side, yeah. You're ah. saying ow, now, ow. brown cow. How. Perfect. Well done, Mr. Brian. How, now, brown cow. How, now. Brown cow. Very good. Tsunami. Don't know the next one. Sinjin. Tsunami, Sinjin, Canapay. Canapays. Bista, mm -hmm. Leicester, Tenderhooks. Don't know. Beaver. Beaver. Fenwick, Fenwick. Chumley. Fanshaw. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Coburn. I'm not going to do this at all. I'm using the canapes, Bista, Leicester, Tenderhooks. I can't, because I've got so much other stuff going around my head. I'm not stupid, Trace. Fennec, Chumley, Fanshaw, Coburn, Cloche, Xylophone, Pneumatic, Chablis, Tiffinoir, Croquet. Kilo. Oh, I'm sure my neck. All of them are so wrong. That's cut. It's going to do my head in. It's fine. Rendezvous, shoe. Okay. I'm really going to do my head and I'm going to fail. Aspen. Aspen. Badly. Annie. Alprop. Bewley. Hescott. Shrewsbury. Walgrave. Walgrave. Mannering. Marnie. Yeah. Rendezvous, shoe. Au pair. Faux pas. Four seventeen PM. 
The housemates have been practicing for the past 34 minutes. In Hartford, Hereford, and, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, it's done. Tracy needs to look. Yeah, we need to get Tracy to come because this is our shopping budget. Mm. Yeah, see, she's worried about the um, the other thing as well. I the know. Other stuff, learning. Need other to things. worry though. But no, she knows it all. Mm. Um, this is one you might remember from Dad's Army. Mr. I remember something. Absolutely. Um, anybody who's watched that will know that one. Mr. Brian. Mannering. Mr. Liam. Mannering. Mr. Ziggy. Mannering. And Mr. Brian. Mannering. Jolly good. The very, very last one. Um, Marnie. Marnie. Absolutely right. Mr. Ziggy. Marnie. Mr. Brian. Marnie. Mr. Liam. Marnie. Mr. Brian. Marnie. Mr. Ziggy. Tracy has been in the caravan for 12 minutes. Xylophone, pneumatic, chablis, dauphinois, croquettes. It's not dauphinois, it's dauphinois. Okay, let's fin. do that one again. So fish is thin. Tsunami, singin, canapes, biscuits. Do you want me to go through it with you? Are you all right? Just don't bother with Sorry? Just don't bother with it. Soon. What's that? Yeah, you'll be fine with it. No, I won't. I know I won't, all right? You will. And I won't. You've got layers. Oh, don't get upset. Oh, Tracy. Don't get upset. We won't be failing anything. But three people are allowed to do that anyway. No, enunciation's very it's difficult if you've had a lifetime. I won't do it. Yeah, you will do it. Let me tell I you. I won't that. do it. When you get in there, you will realise. Fail miserably. No, you won't. You'll yeah, realise how me. easy it is. It's actually. not easy, Carol. It's not yes, easy. You've at gone all. through pretty well all of those, so just a little bit more practice and it will stick in there. No, it, will. it won't. I've got so much shit in my head at the minute. Apart from that, oh. What else is wrong then? No, I've just got to think about all the other stuff. Oh, you you, you know all that? No, no you know, you know all that. This is blimmin' hard. You're doing jolly well. Cause this is not easy. Is everything well, is everything all right here? Sorry, Trace. No, Trace no. doesn't think yeah. she'll be able to do it. Well, you get, I'll tell but you what, will. Will. Trace. Man, man on the job. Trace. Why not able to do it? I you know will be. Trace, I this man is ace. Oh, He's ace. Come, 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 do you want to come into the bedroom? Come, Trace. Go smoke the bench. He's ace. He's ace. He's ace. I can't pronounce him. You can. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't probably either. I've just said to him. my head in. Why don't you take 20 minutes with John T, Trace? Because I can't put it all in my brain, Zig. I know, but Trace, listen, I was awful at school. And I'm trying to admire the series. that way minded. No, nor am I. I'm I promise been. you I'm not. So I won't be able to do it. Yes, you can. Yeah. There's no such thing as can't. I mean, I was saying I can't do the monkey bars. I'd give it my best shot and I did a bit. I didn't do all of it. The clock is a ticking and we're going to go through them. Come on. Tracy, come on. Let's have a look. Sorry. You can. But if you don't look at them, you're never going to be able to. So let's look at them. I've got so much information in my head at the minute. I'm telling you. Don't worry about that. Forget that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. 6.22 p.m. <laughs> Carl Louise, Tracy, Sam and Liam are in the bedroom. You want to pearl necklaces referred to as? No. Fantastic facial. What? As in the art of mouth to willy. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Oh, right. I thought you were I'm... joking then. No, 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 I'm not very good on... Oh, um, right, no, that's what it's called, a pearl slang. necklace. That's what it's called. I didn't know that. And it usually works with ladies with larger breasts. <laughs> Some of the housemates are in the living area. They're being rude in there. What is, ooh. Liam's yeah. being rude. Don't mind about your hands for that. Pearl right? necklaces. Right. Side rude together. Boy. Left side oh, together. So right side together. Left side together. Oops. And they, the men will lead, so they're pushing you. Okay. You're not. You're not pushing right, them. So it's... For today's finishing academy task, the housemates must master the art of received pronunciation. Amanda and Sam have completed their elocution test. Next up is Brian. Good afternoon, Mr. Brian. Good afternoon, big brother. How do you do? I do very well. 
I was just over at the ashtray trying to find some butts to put into my roll up. <laughs> Smoke in a very lord like manner. Mr. Brian needed it badly. In Hereford, Hartford, and Hampshire, the hurricane hardly blows. There's hardly ever hurricanes. So it, it's um, it's right. It's usually start with a right. Although they might say start with an F. Right Sorry. side oh. together. Why don't you put washes on this game in one minute? That's right. Afternoon tea at the St John's was always served at four o'clock, except on Saturdays when Master St John, Mrs St John, prefers a glass of Shibley's. Very well done, Brian. Thank you. As Carl, Miss Carl Louise will say, thank you. I may be a bit smug with myself right now. <laughs> I hope they get me comfortable shoes for this ball gown thing. Wait, I <laughs> might be a bit smug with my stuff. Right. One might be rather chuffed, are we? Yeah, one might be Mr. Smug. Right. <laughs> see, right, well, let's see this because all the Trace. You all right? No. Gravy. <laughs> One, two, two, three, four, 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 Rubbish. I can't be something I'm not though in here. You can't be. Sorry, but it's just give it my best shot, but if I can't do it, I can't. Exactly. The more people like Carla push me, the more I'm going the other way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What do you mean? I won't be. That's what I said to you at first, you're going to smoke and bench. Because you can't be pushed into doing something. Uh, I won't be. <laughs> 7.31pm. Sam, John E, Amanda and Ziggy are in the living area. And it's a rowing regatta held on a river. What's the name of the river? River Thames. Absolutely right. And the name of the person who sits in the boat and shouts is the... Cox. Well done. Do you want me to butter some bread? Um, oh, that'd be great. I, I, I'd like someone else to do it. Not, not meaning that way, well, but... I haven't done anything for days. I think some other people need to get off their asses and do a bit of the food for the last week, just to get involved over the food, you know? So they can go away and go, oh, I'd like to learn some stuff now. Yeah. But if you're happy to do it, then fine. Liam and Brian are at the smoking area. Two, I'm probably shitting myself today. Shitting me, sir? Yeah, I just keep thinking about when we're leaving, I'm so shitting uh, myself. So I get waves on my stomach right Yeah. Now. The only thing I want to do is just be at home in my living room with my family. Yeah. I fuck everything else, what should I say? None of this cap, eh? It, it sounds like it's cliche, but I just thought to myself, I just want to, no, you to think of something really normal. Aye. Carol, John E, Carl Louise and Liam have all completed their elocution tests. Tracy is next. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain. In Hartford, Hereford, in Hampshire, hurricanes hardly happen. <clears throat> Miss Tracy, you must recite this sentence clearly and slowly using the correct pronunciation. It is about time that Jeeves 
finally listen to Lord Fen don't know request for I don't know potatoes I can't tell you it Boom. Amanda and Sam, Brian and Triacy fail to pass their elocution tests. Therefore, the housemates have failed this part of the shopping task. 8.31 p.m. Ziggy is in the bathroom. Brian is in the diary room. It's a scary house, this is. It's a scary because... I came this house, I think, quite a down to earth boy and stuff, and I just want to leave that same boy. I don't want to leave an arrogant, meathead sort of thing. I don't know. I, 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 sometimes I'm quite scared that, I don't know, I suppose this house can change people. And I suppose I'm quite scared that not letting this house change me. I don't want to leave the, I want to leave the same person. You just have to keep remembering yourself who you were when you came in this house and not change due to anything. That's really hard, actually, because the more confident I get in this house, like, I don't know, I can see myself, I don't know, I don't know, I, was, I just, I just want to, I don't know, I just want to be a nice person. Some of the housemates are on the sofas. Have you got any gay friends? Um, yeah. What, male and female, or? I've got any female ones. I, I once got with a lass who was bi, and when I said to her, Ideal, let's try and hook something up. It was like I'd really insulted her. Really? <laughs> well, she'd have been well on for that. Right. But she wasn't. Nah. Gosh. I was like, I like both, but I don't want to necessarily do it with both at the, at same, the same time. time. And you. Yeah. Like, oh. Can't she say oh. not? Sorry. <laughs> that's, that's There's me wrong. assuming. That sounds rather good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not everybody's into that. So what would you think if you had a boyfriend and it turned out he was bisexual? Would that put you off? That's not right. Would really? it? That's interesting. Would that put you off? <clears throat> really? Even if he's very handsome and he's lovely and he's very nice and, and he said, guess what, I fancy boys as well, would that just kill it? Mm. Really? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. But he doesn't with you, Liam. That, that's fine if she fancies yours as well. I think it's different boys, though. Yeah, I am. Boys. If I'm honest, I probably wouldn't like to get... Married to a bisexual really? person. That's interesting. Um, probably more chance of them doing the dirty on you. Yeah. <laughs> Double the chance. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. mm. Ten or three p.m. Big Brother has gathered all of the housemates on the sofas. As part of the finishing academy task, the housemates must learn to ballroom dance. Big Brother has instructed housemates to pick a partner to dance with for the duration of the task. And Bugs Eye not going with the twins? Yeah. I can't know if it's good. I know, but you'll have us dressed in pink doing backflips or something. <laughs> Holding us up in the air. This is Big Brother. Would Miss Amanda and Miss Sam please rise? Oh. <laughs> Miss Amanda and Miss Sam, you must now select which male housemate you would like Go to on. be your dancing partner for the Big Brother Ball. Stitch him up. <laughs> Liam! <laughs> Stitch <Stitched> up! Woo! <laughs> Miss Carol, please rise. <laughs> Miss Carol. You must now choose which male housemate you would like to be your dancing partner at the Big Brother Ball. I'll choose Mr. John T. Hey, thank you, Miss <laughs> Sex. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Lib, very dare you. <laughs> Miss Cara Louise, please rise. Chris, you just had to get out, weren't you? <laughs> you were. Uh. Miss Cara Louise. You must now choose which male housemate you would like to be your dance partner no, at the Big Brother Ball. <laughs> I'll go with Mr. Ziggy. I will look forward to it very much. <laughs> what did you say? Good pricing. I didn't get a choice. I thought you and Trace would make a lovely couple. Miss Tracy, please rise. 
Oh, oh God. <laughs> Miss Tracy, you must now say who you would like to be your male housemate dance partner for the Big Brother Ball. Well, she ain't got much choice. <laughs> Mr. Brian! <laughs> <laughs> Brian! <laughs> The housemates have been practicing their ballroom dancing for the past 19 minutes. This is a... Wait, we can't waste time, like we haven't got time. Come on, come on. She's moving, we need to copy. She don't know what she's doing. She don't know the fuck shot. We will learn this, we've got days to do this, we've got days to do this. We'll, we'll know this tomorrow. <laughs> when the housemates come together, there should be no gap between their bodies. Contact. Contact will help the man to leave the and the woman to follow. Right, so we're there. I'm in, I'm in between your two legs. <laughs> 11.32pm. Tracy's in the diary room. Mr Brian, my friend, sat on the bench this morning when I had um, one of my thin cigarettes. He said, Jerry said something Friday night when you went to the toilet. Like, oh yeah, half interested, half asleep. So said, yeah, well, when you went to the toilet, he said, not to trust me. <laughs> I thought, what? Well, you know, what's he saying that for? It's not fair. Not fair on what he's left for the hood to think about me. It's dishonesty. I'm a trustworthy person. I know I am. Do you think that Jerry's comments will affect your position in the house? Possibly. Then so be it. I've had a fat time here. Been my 12th week soon. So if it does, it does. If it doesn't, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Brian, Liam and Ziggy are in the caravan. No, I mean, Carol are just kind of arguing a little bit. Not arguing, but just, you know, I feel like I'm constantly putting stuff out there and she's not in liking it, you know? You're not cool for the time being. For this, for this second, I'm constantly, I feel like we're, you know, you feel wrong if you're actually not kind of agreeing with how someone is at the, uh, at the moment. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you mean, like. I've got this, this kind of bubble that I've put round her in this place. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But that's, isn't that a strange thing to have in here? Yeah. Some things... And then you, sometimes just... Some things really irritate me. It's like it's Brian not, saying it's not a charity show. It's not, though. Just, I've always said and that. I constantly I'm feel not, like I'm it. not being horrible when I say that, either. And I'm not being horrible. I feel really, really, bad. really... I think it's a, that I feel bad or oh, sorry. But then she's in a better position than uh, so many other people there is. Yeah. I like people who are a lot worse off. Oh, God, I know people who are worse off, but why am I thinking this? I'm fella. <clears throat> the worst thing can do in this house is apologise for what she, she what you're thinking. You feel like you're wrong sometimes. I feel wrong. Speaking up last night, I feel wrong. You're wrong, the boss. <laughs> no, the worst thing can do in this house is apologise for what you're thinking. But everybody does it, Brian. Does what? Apologise for what they're thinking. Oh yeah, I've done it. Everybody does it. But you should... Every day. You've got a lot of time for Carol, and I think I don't, I don't think anyone. Sometimes can... when people have got less time for Carol. They don't want to do anything because... They know that you've bit. got a lot of time, Ken. You know what? It's the respect that everyone else has got. Even after our argument, you know, she turned around to me last night and said something that she spoke about me in the diary room last night. And that, you know, it wasn't all good. And even after any argument we've had, I've never gone in there and spoken about her. No. Yeah. I don't even know. Only, never, ever. Last <coughs> night, never, never spoken about her. You know, not even the next day. And I'm thinking, am I being the monkey here, or...? Yeah, well. Don't worry about it, Zoom. Oh, well, it's not, it's not, it's anything for us to say, don't worry about it, is it a lie? But then you say you are here for yourself and it's not a charity show. Eleven fifty one PM Ziggy, Tracy, Liam and Brian are at the smoking area. That's what a fat one as well. Aye. It's a fucking right old fatty boom batty. That's what a fat one as well. Aye, it's a fucking right old fatty boom batty. The rest of the housemates are in the living area. Hello, housemate. Hello, Hello big brother. brother. What is it you are here for? We're, We're introducing... The Spank Master. Spank <laughs> yeah, that's it. We're going to, to introduce you, Sir spank a lot <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, we can go fucking good. <laughs> Shall we just do it? Yeah. Go on then. Go on, Jackie. Let's get some shoes on. This is Big Brother. Could Miss Amanda please come to the dining room? Oh, here you go. Oh, here you go
Okay. Out. Out. Thank you. Okay. Take the song to the What's this? Miss Amanda. Hey there. This is my punishment dump. Miss Amanda, in your hand is a loud hailer. Hello! As punishment for damaging your microphone, Big Brother is giving you this loud hailer, which you must use to speak through until further notice. Okay. To clarify, Miss Amanda, mm -hmm. every time you want to say something to anybody, you must do so by talking through the loud hailer. Do you understand? Totally. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Oh, no, I hate it. It's like this punch for Abby. I'm so sorry about my microphone. Miss Amanda, this is a serious punishment. Do you understand? I understand. It's so bad. I'm, I'm Big here. Brother can't hear you, Amanda. I'm really upset and I'm so sorry. What? Miss Amanda, you're now free to leave the diary room. OK, bye. I'm sorry. Bye. Why are you suddenly paper sales on Saturday? This is your punishment. It's our yeah. punishment. <laughs> no! No! Because of what? Because she broke it. Because I broke my mask, but the car can't hear me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you speak. No. Every time you speak. Is there a volume on it? Man, it should be loud. There should be a volume. You're the only one. Man, I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm going to get an headache. <laughs> One twenty-seven a.m. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Amanda is in the diary room. I'm just being normal to it. I don't even hear nothing. Next is Miss Amanda, Big Brother suggests that maybe you don't do that. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Mrs. Big Brother. Bye. Liam and Tria C are at the smoking area. They're just, I was just feeling that they just don't like me here. They're just dealing with me. <laughs> it's fine. It's understandable, you know. If they don't want me here, it's fine. It's a horrible lad. It's so attractive. <laughs> Goes from rolling from top bottom yeah. of the bin. <laughs> Look, these are good cigarettes we've got here. They've been smoked eight times yeah. over the last six weeks. <laughs> right, that's it. No cigarettes in the morning. All right. That's it, I'm giving up. It's yours. <laughs> I'm giving up. Officially.
the corruption of a whole generation. It's here on Channel 4. Get skins from the very beginning tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. But next up tonight, comedian Omid Jalili on about bongos, his hairy back and the Tomorrow People. It's TV heaven, telly hell.